you actually good. also contribute to Traveler 24. Yes, do you, I do. Do you speak about your travels a lot in your show? I do. I speak about uh, my time in Korea because I lived in Korea for a total of six years. Six years? Yes. Where in Korea Six did you years. Live? I lived um, just outside of Seoul okay. in like a small, um, it's actually not that small, it's like the nicest suburb in mm. Seoul, it's like the Lani area. Oh, nice. So, yeah, so I was like, I'm not fancy. leaving. I'm not leaving this place. I'm teaching your children forever. But then, of course, this happened yeah. and I had to leave. But yeah, I have a lot of stories about things that happened in Korea, like um, what it's like to go through like um, a North Korean bomb threat and how horrible it is to have everyone around the world saying, you're going to die. North Korea is going to um, blow you to bits on Friday afternoon. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you wait. <laughs> and then it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So my story is about um, how crazy you can get when you believe your insane thoughts. So like it's about my first experience going through the North Korean bomb threat horror. And crazy things happening in my head. Were you horrified head. during your first North Korean yeah, bomb threat? Yeah. Completely, completely. I, um, I literally ran out of my apartment building thinking that, um, <laughs> thinking that there was a van outside that was collecting people and taking them to a safety shelter. This makes me laugh so much. I was like, this is happening right now. I have come to Korea to die. It was literally my first day there. What? <laughs> Literally my first day and there. And was a bomb threat. There was, yeah, yeah, I didn't know about it. Um, I googled um, ab like information about Korea because I hadn't done like proper research before I left. Well, that will teach you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, I'm here already. I might as well like find out. And then like the first article that came up was a CNN article apparently like while I was up in the air drinking all the champagne uh, on the plane, North Korea had sent a missile into the Sea of Japan. So I had this panicked moment like, why didn't anyone tell us or why yeah. didn't the plane just make a u-turn and i was like i'm going to die here i have no money i didn't do any research i'm stupid and i mean north korea it's so scary when you first think about it because yeah. it's like on the axis of evil and all of yeah. that but yeah my thoughts went away with me and i became insane just for like five minutes <laughs> I also used to live in Korea. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where? Yeah, I lived in Daegu. Oh, I know Daegu mm. with the apples. Yeah, and cherry blossoms. Well, yeah, I mean, there's like the, a thing, yeah. a joke about like all the Miss, a lot of Miss Koreas come from um, uh, yes, Daegu because, because of the, the apple the and the skin. skin and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very inside joke. Very inside. Did you have culture shock when you went, aside from the bomb threat thing? Mm hmm. What did you experience culture shock? I did. I did because like I wasn't prepared at all. Like I didn't, you didn't even do any do, research. I didn't do any research. I wasn't prepared because it's just like I'm going somewhere new. I'm just going to throw myself in there. Mm -hmm. But then the fact that like I was initially I was at a very small village so there weren't many people who spoke English. And I bet a lot of people had never see, seen a black person. Yes. Before. Yes. Like lots of children used to like come up to me and grab my That's skin and say like, "Oh, chocolate teacher." Mm -hmm. You know, you know that that kind of thing. <laughs> so there's that and then there's the food in the beginning like everything has that like red sauce mm -hmm. that you grow to love but in the beginning you're just like, "Why is this in everything?" Why? Why yeah. is everything spicy or salty? Or oh, salty. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> things like that you're like why is that mm -hmm. and also like um what else what, what else shocked me um i don't know but i was just very scared yeah um, it's just like this is too different from what i know but you stayed I don't for know. six years i ended up falling in love with it i yeah. ended up falling in love with it and that's where i was able to kind of because you go there as a teacher mm -hmm. and it's very easy to be an english teacher in korea i mean this is a secret <laughs> that we shouldn't reveal <laughs> but like a lot of people get away with just putting in like 25 to 30 percent into their jobs yeah. and you can just like coast by and then before you know it you are stagnant you're not doing anything new in your life and so when that was when that started happening to me in my first mm -hmm. year I was like I am here to do this particular job I'm not here to like hang out in my apartment or like drink soju with my friends during the weekend like that's fun but like mm -hmm. literally the f I'm able to be here because I was brought in to do work so I yeah. committed to that job and then in the process I just like other things happened. Did you do much traveling when you were there? <sighs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I just kept going back to Japan. I really, really love Japan. So like any time I was able to because I was trying to save money, I was trying to mm -hmm. send money back home 
and I wasn't interested in going to the and beach. Going, yeah. I was like, I just want to go to Tokyo. So yeah. I went to Tokyo, I went to Hong Kong, I went to Tokyo, I went to Hong Kong. That's what I did. I didn't even go to Japan when I was in Korea. What did you do? Tell me about, I went everywhere else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tokyo is amazing. Uh, what, tell me about Tokyo. I mean, would you, you would obviously recommend. I would recommend Tokyo. To um, I mean, like I like um, things that are overly unfamiliar and like I like overstimulation and I like, um, I like cities, I like the life, I like the, like the crowds and if you're into that then Tokyo is for you and like there are all these amazing restaurants and clothing shops and just like, I don't want, it's so cliche but like the fashion, whatever, yeah. but it's just on another level and the technology is just like, it's like the, like you. Is it almost futuristic? It is, it is almost yeah. futuristic because after you leave you're like, I can't believe I have to go back to my normal life knowing that Tokyo knowing exists. That Tokyo exists. <laughs> You're like, how? Oh, you just become so dramatic. But I would go back like as often as I could if I had the money.